Let's take a look at the Animation Pro File Manager. Please note that this tutorial was created on an iPad Pro using Animation Pro version 1. Your screens may look a little different. In Animation Pro, you're likely to work with a lot of different assets. Images and image projects, mouths and mouth projects, figures and audio files. So Animation Pro contains its very own file manager to make dealing with all of those assets as simple as possible. So let's take a closer look at the file manager popover. On the left hand side, you'll see a list of categories. In this case, we're in the process of opening a figure, so the various figure categories will be displayed. Categories are simply a way to group files. They're kind of like directories in a computer file system, but unlike directories, when you view the contents of a parent category, you will see both its contents and the contents of any subcategories that it contains as well. Now, whenever a given category has a blue arrow shown after its name, subcategories exist below it. Tap on the blue arrow to view the subcategories. I'm now viewing the contents of the imported category under the User Figures category. I can add another category under User Figures by pressing the Add Category button. I can add a new category below it by pressing the blue plus button after its name. To remove a category, swipe it to the left and press the delete button. To return to a parent category, press the back button. And finally, to return quickly to the topmost list of categories, Tap on the blue Categories button. Let's now take a look at the other side of the File Manager. Here, you'll see all of the items within the selected category. You can tap on the alphabet at the top of the File Manager to display all of the items that begin with the selected letter. To display all of the items in the category, tap on the dash at the end of the alphabet. The items in the category can also be sorted using the four buttons at the bottom of the File Manager. Some of these options may be disabled if you are viewing a system category such as the Animation Pro Figure category shown here. There's quite a few things that you can do with the items that you place in the File Manager. So let's select the User Figures category and take a look. Firstly, you can rename an item by tapping on its name. To remove one or more items, tap on the Edit button at the top right corner of the File Manager. Tap on Items to select or to deselect them. And then tap on the Delete button at the bottom of the File Manager to remove the selected items. Now until I press the Cancel button, at the top right corner of the file manager, the file manager will remain in edit mode. So let's select a single item. Whenever you're using the file manager to select a single figure or mouth, an additional email button will appear at the bottom of the file manager popover. You can use this to send the figure or mouth to someone via email. Animation Pro will construct the entire email for you, including a preview image. The next button at the bottom of the screen can be used to share one or more items. Press it to bring up the standard iOS sharing popover. From here, you can share the items with any other app that supports the given file type. If there's somebody nearby with AirDrop turned on, you can send the items directly to them. Finally, you can move a selected item into a different user category by navigating to the destination category and then pressing the Move Here button. We're now done with editing, so I'll press the Cancel button at the top right corner of the File Manager popover to exit Edit Mode. OK, so we've been using the File Manager to work with figures. Now let's take a quick look at how it behaves when working with the other types of Animation Pro assets. The File Manager will display additional options when working with images. 
These options will also vary depending on whether an image is being added to an animation as a figure, as we see here, or loaded perhaps into an image project. On the left hand side of the popover, additional categories may be shown. In this case we see an additional substitutions category. This category contains all of the images previously substituted into the current animation. Underneath it is the photo albums category. This contains all of the images found in the iOS photo album. Please note that the first time you access this category, Animation Pro may ask for permission. If that occurs, answer yes and then tap on the photo albums category again to see the content. At the bottom is a link to the add text popover. Click on it to add some text to your animation instead. Whenever you add an image as a figure, Animation Pro gives you two options for positioning the handles. They can be added to the top and the bottom of the image, or they can be added to the sides. This can be useful when it comes to bending your images. Whenever you're viewing images in the user category, you can tap and hold your finger on a thumbnail to see a larger preview as well as the dimensions of the image. If you slide your finger off the thumbnail before releasing, Animation Pro will not open it. And finally, whenever you're inserting a background image or video, videos will be shown with blue film strip perforations. The file manager will display mouths in a list versus a grid format. You can preview a mouth doing some lip syncing by pressing the play button next to its name. Testing, the stop button testing, next to the preview one. can be pressed when you get tired of listening to my voice. Whenever the file manager displays a list, additional actions may be revealed by dragging an item to the left. In this case, a delete button appears, allowing me to quickly remove a duplicate mouth. Lastly, an additional category, called Current Project, will appear whenever you're adding a mouth as a figure into an animation. This category will display all of the mouths present in the current animation. Audio will be displayed in a list format. This shows the name of each audio file, the duration of each audio file, and the frames it will span if added. You can press the play button for any given file to listen to it. Let's take a look at the if the audio file is long, you can press the stop button at the bottom left corner of the file manager. Audio may be recorded within the file manager by pressing the microphone button at the bottom of the popover. The file manager will count down from three before it starts recording. Press the stop button when you're done. Press the stop button when you're done. You may have noticed that when I recorded the audio, the file manager automatically opened the recorded subcategory. To get back to the topmost list of categories, press the blue categories button as shown. Right now, we're in the process of adding audio to a frame. If I close the file manager and then add audio to a figure instead, you'll see some additional options appear. These appear because the selected figure contains a mouth that may be used with the Animation Pro lip syncing feature. If I turn the lip sync switch on and play an audio file, the preview will show the figure's mouth in action. Press the stop button when you're done. Please note, if you wish to lip sync audio, please make sure that the lip sync switch is on prior to selecting an audio file. Finally, when working with audio, the Animation Pro File Manager will provide a link to your iOS music library so that you can add music to your animations as well. The File Manager will display image projects as a list. Swipe an image project to the left to see additional options. Individual image projects can be archived and shared by pressing the blue Share button. This will open up the iOS sharing popover, allowing the archive to be airdropped or shared with other apps. 
individual image projects can be duplicated by swiping to the left and then pressing the green duplicate button. To remove a single image project, swipe to the left and then press the red delete button. And finally, to create a new image project, press the plus button, give your project a name and then press the green tick button or the return key on the iOS keyboard. I really don't have a lot more to say about working with mouth projects, as the file manager behaves in exactly the same way as it does for image projects. So please rewind the video and watch that segment all over again. <coughs> I hope you found that as informative as I did. Thanks for watching.